Hello, Tiffany Durr, The Essential Gardener here, and today we are going to talk about the imposter syndrome, what that means, what that looks like, what that feels like. We're gonna talk about my friend, the pothos. It's going to be an awesome, awesome day. So, the imposter syndrome. So if you've never heard of it before, what it is, is it's when you feel like you are a fraud. Um, when you feel like you've accomplished something, you are an expert on something, but you feel like you're a fraud and like if people really knew you, they'd figure you out and they'd find out that you really are not who they think you are. You feel like a fraud, basically. And a lot of times, people that feel like this, they experience insecurity, they experience anxiety, fear of judgment, doubt in yourself, lack of confidence. Okay, enough with all the bullshit. I have had imposter syndrome for a long time. Um, when I started The Essential Gardener, I had all this fear of what if people figure out that I'm really not that good with plants, which is not true. I have a whole greenhouse full of plants that I keep alive all the time, and they're research plants. Yes, they're not house plants. Yes, they're not other things, but they are research plants which aren't normally grown in a greenhouse, so it may be even harder to grow them. But I felt like an imposter. Like, am I really the essential gardener? Am I, am I really that person? What if they find out that I don't know enough? And what if they find out that my gardens don't always grow fabulously? What if they find all those things out? And I felt like such an imposter. And so I've had to overcome that. I had to actually have a friend tell me, Tiffany, you just got through building a $2.6 million greenhouse that you designed and that you helped build and that you were basically the contractor for. And you know what you're doing. You have all of these plants. You have thousands and thousands of plants in your greenhouse you keep alive every day and you do it organically, which is crazy. You know what you're doing. You and so I like literally had to have it pounded into my head. And then I felt more comfortable as embodying as the essential gardener. Um, another thing, now that I've started these videos, I've had a lot of fear come up. Like I have done, you guys, I've been doing personal development since I started doTERRA. So seven years, I've done seven years and I was doing it before then, just not as formally. So I've been doing personal development for seven years. And I started freaking out, like, what if I don't know what I'm doing? What if people think poorly of me? What if they find out that I'm not all that in a bag of chips, not that I even try to portray myself to be that way, but all of this fear and this chatter comes up and it freaks me out. And I have, I've had, I, oh, I feel like a fraud. I feel like a huge fraud. And um, as I've been doing these videos, I was so excited to do them but I felt like I wasn't being real enough with you. So today, in this video, I wanted to be more real with you. I wanted to let you know what it's like to be Tiffany and what it's like to have to deal with this imposter syndrome. And there's a, I know I'm not the only one. <laughs> there's a whole syndrome of it, right? There wouldn't be a whole syndrome if it, it would just be called the Tiffany Durr syndrome. And so I know there's lots of other people, especially successful women that feel this way, and especially moms. Moms, oh my gosh, we tend to do this to ourselves. We tend to think that if we are successful, that if we are outgoing, if we are doing amazing things, that we are not a great mom. Or that we think society will judge us as not being a great mom. And that goes back to the BS of how society judges women so harshly, especially moms. Holy moly, once you become a mom, there's so much judgment. And so we tend to be really, really hard on ourselves and think that we are not enough. But I believe that you can be an incredible mom and still make the positive change you wanna see in the world and remain an amazing mom. Like, you can do that. And I know when I fell into doTERRA, I, at the time, was looking for more out of life. Like, I had this pull, I had this calling, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. But I knew I wanted to contribute a lot more to society but I didn't want to leave my children behind. You know, I didn't want them to feel left out or not get enough. And so I was really nervous. And then when I found out about doTERRA and it changed my life, um, essential oils completely changed my life, not only in my home, but also in the greenhouse. I knew I wanted to teach a lot of people about it, especially the stuff in the greenhouse, since I basically am researching it and doing it on my own. And so I wanted to teach people about it but I felt like such an imposter, which was crazy pants because I was living that life, right? And my children didn't suffer. In fact, they have grown. They get to see their mama go out and do things and help the world and make her own positive change in the world. And they want to do the same things now. It's, 
amazing. And so, yes, imposter syndrome is real. And so I'm gonna give you some tools. I still fight it, I still fight it all the time, but I'm gonna work through it with you because we can work on this together, right? And so here's the things you need to do. You need to identify it and acknowledge that that's what's going on. When you start feeling that feeling, you need to acknowledge that that's what's going on. You need to ask some validation questions. Is it true? Is it true that if people talk to me and they, um, they realize that I've killed a plant in my time at the greenhouse, would they then think that I was not the right person to learn from? No, no. Have I been doing that for 16 years? Yes, do I know what I'm doing? Absolutely. And so you can ask these validating questions to see if what you're saying in your head is true. Um, you can, you create a master plan of your accomplishments. And I just learned about this today. And so I'm going to do this for myself because it's so easy for us to forget all the things that we've achieved and all the things that we've done. Like when my friend was pounding into my head, all the amazing things that I had done, I have completely forgotten all of that. And I was just latched onto the fear, the fear of rejection, the fear of people finding out and thinking that I'm a fraud. Um, you need to be gentle with yourself. That's something that I have a really hard time with. I tend to be very hard on myself, but you need to be gentle with yourself and remind yourself. And you need to have an amazing support group. And this is what I have. I have this in my doTERRA family. Um, and if you decide to join my doTERRA family, you will get that from me. Um, and I also have this in some really awesome friends and family. And then, and a husband, my husband's incredible and so supportive. And he, he's the one who really helps pull me out of that imposter syndrome a lot of times too. And then get comfortable being uncomfortable because that's what it is like. When you are fully showing up as yourself, it's going to be uncomfortable. But by doing it, you're making your change in the world and you're making the world a better place. So today's plant that I decided to pair this with is a golden pothos. I love this guy so much. Um, he's amazing. I still have the plant tag on in here. Um, I'm really excited. This is my first one I've had of my own. I grew up, my mom had one of these. I loved it. It was amazing and huge. And so I, I was really excited to do it this week because I'm about to buy a plant. Don't tell Zeke. <laughs> so pothos. Now, one of the, the reasons I chose this is because it is the plant of perseverance and longevity. And if you are going to go out in the world and make your own positive change, you need to be doing it for the long haul and you need to be perseverance, right? Um, this is a plant that is for those who continue to follow their dreams. Those, so if you want to give this as a gift, give it to somebody who's always, that you want to see them really follow their dreams and go big. Um, it's great because you can hang this arrangement. It symbolizes reaching new heights all the time as it continues to grow taller. Now, one of the pest problems it tends to have is mealybugs. And so for mealybugs, what you're going to do, I just read a research paper on it, and it said that thyme and, and citrus are the two that seem to help the best to get rid of uh, mealybugs. And I've actually used this in the greenhouse before. I added peppermint because you can't go wrong with peppermint. It's great. So these three together, mix them in, um, so in a spray bottle. I'm gonna start talking, when I do this, I'm gonna start doing it in like half gallons because that's why I like to spray within the greenhouse is a half gallon, unless it's like a large amount, then I do more. Um, and so in a half gallon, you're going to do five drops of each of these in a half gallon of water. Don't forget your drop of dish soap because that's gonna help it all mix together. Shake it up and spray it directly on the mealybugs. Um, and then you can kind of go through and maybe even try to pop those mealybugs off if you can. But spray them really, really well, really thoroughly. It's contact, so you've gotta get in contact with that mealybug. All right. Now for the essential oils for the imposter syndrome. And I actually had to kind of make my own, which, oh my gosh, that made me feel a little like eek. But this is, after doing research and reading up on it, this is what I came up with. Um, frankincense, because frankincense helps remind you who you are and it helps you connect to your higher power. And it's just a really good reminder of love and light and who you are. So frankincense, spearmint helps you speak up, speak your voice and um, wild orange. Wild orange helps you um, helps you clear out those scarcity thoughts that you're not enough. And it helps you remember that you are worthy. And so mixing these together and putting these on, this is going to help you. So I am going to recommend, this is the first time I made a blend. So here we go. We are going to do, um, hold on, I, was, I wrote it down over here. Okay, five drops of wild orange, five drops of spearmint, and 
six drops of frankincense. You're gonna put them in a roller ball. You're gonna fill the rest up with coconut oil and you're gonna rub it on. And this is, I believe in me blend. This is no more imposter syndrome blend. This is, no, I got the name of it. I made it right now. I am not a fraud. That's what this blend is. So if you need help with essential oils, if you don't have any, please reach out to me. Um, if you are interested in making your own positive change in the world and you want to join arms with me, reach out to me. I am really good at helping people clarify what this poll is, that they're not quite sure what it is and helping them make their own positive change in the world. So reach out to me. Let's connect. Um, follow me on Facebook and Instagram and I'll see you next week. Enjoy your pothos and enjoy your oils. Bye guys. And stop being, stop that imposter syndrome. You are not a fraud. You are an amazing human being just as you are.